Today I'll show you the easiest way of using Elementor Pro to create an endless product carousel like this which looks premium, scrolls automatically and we will also add features like title, price, discount tag, rating, add to cart button and more. We will do everything step by step so even a non-technical person can follow. I will go to my site and here's my carousel. For some reason it's lagging. Okay, before we make our carousel live, let's make sure it doesn't get stuck like this. So I will go to this website and click sign up. I'll put my website URL here. Now, it will take a couple of minutes to optimize this site and once that's done, wow, that's a really good score. Anyways, let's see if my carousel is working properly now. I'll go to my site, hit refresh. It works perfectly. Now, let me show you how I created this endless carousel. So, on my WordPress dashboard, go to pages, click on add new page and on the top, Click edit with Elementor. All right, to place a carousel here, I need a container. So I will click this plus button and select this layout. Then in the left sidebar, I will look for loop widget. Here it is. Just drag the widget on the container like this. On the left, click on this drop down and choose products. Now click this create template button and save it. Now in this section, we will create our product cards and to do that, look for the featured image here. Now it automatically selects an image, but if you want to change it, just click on the image and go to choose image. And from this window, you can easily select or upload your product image. I will skip it for now and go back to the image setting. I can change the resolution from here, add a caption, or I can make my image clickable by putting a custom URL here. I will select custom from this drop down, open my product page in a new tab, copy the URL, come back and paste it here. If you want to customize this image, just go to the style tab and try out these settings. This looks good to me, so I'll keep it as it is. Now to add a product name, go to the widget section and drag the product title widget below our image. This is too big, so I will change the size by going to this drop down and selecting H5. If you want to change color, alignment or fonts, just click the text, go to style. From here, I can change the alignment to middle, change my font to this from the typography section and increase the size like this. Next, let's add the price widget below our product name. I'll just drag this product price widget here now click it and change the alignment from here. I'll change the color to this and increase the font size to somewhere around this number. Okay, my text looks faded so I will quickly change the color to black from here. Now I want to place product rating beside the price tag but before that I will select it and trim its size like this. Now from the widget section, I will drag and drop the rating widget like this. I will make minor adjustments by going to the style tab and fix this alignment. Now I'll go to this section and drag the add to cart widget below this. Don't worry, right now it says read more, but when we make this live, it will display as add to cart button. Now I will go to the style tab and fix the alignment. I don't like the border around this button, so from the border type drop down, I will choose none. And if I hover over it, it highlights like this. Now, I want to add a discount tag on my product image like this. To do that, I will scroll down in the widget section and drag the heading on top of this. I will quickly change the text to this. I'll change the size from this drop down to H3. And in the style tab, I will go here and change its alignment. I'll change the color to this. And now to add a background, I will go to advanced, scroll down till I find background. I will quickly change the color to red. Awesome. Now to make this box smaller and to place it on the product image, I will click it and trim the size like this. From the style tab, 
I'll change the color to this. Now let's place it on the image by going to the advanced tab. Increase the margin like this. Let's save this by clicking save and back on the top of the image. And voila, it automatically makes a carousel out of the template we just created. Now the carousel is misaligned and all over the place. So I will quickly fix this with a small trick. I will click on edit template from the top, click on the product image and in the style tab, I will change the width to 100, same for max width, but for height, I will increase it to somewhere around this number. Now let's customize some settings of the carousel. So click on the edit page here. And when you click on the product image, these settings open up. If you scroll down, you can change settings like number of slides in the carousel, how many to display and more. In the query section, I can change the source of my carousel from this drop down. You can choose any of these options depending on what you want to highlight on your page. Next in settings, I will enable these options like autoplay, decrease the scroll speed to this so that it scrolls faster. Enable cool features like pause on hover and more. In the navigation section, I can display left and right navigation buttons like this which I don't want for now, so I'll disable it. In pagination, I can change the layout of these dots down here. Just play around these settings and once that's done, let's see how it looks. Okay, the speed is fine. The pause on hover works fine as well. Let's see if add to cart button works properly. So I'll click it and view the cart. Great, everything seems to be working fine. And this is how you can create an endless product carousel. Also, in this 3-minute video, we will show you our new free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.